Okay, so today I am going to be making a Ventoy, and this just looks like a regular USB stick, and you're absolutely correct, it is. What we're going to be doing is running some software on here which will allow us to have multiple ISO files, which makes this a multiple operating system installer. Then if you're ever doing IT work or anything, you just have to carry one drive with you. You could have a live operating system on here for Linux, and you could have a Windows installer, so that way you could be doing data recoveries on Windows computers, or you could just have multiple flavors of Linux if you're distro hopping, which is what I've currently been doing, and, and that's where this thing has really shown its power to me. So I wanna share how to make one of these because this is a very powerful tool that I highly recommend everyone who's in the computers should have. And as you can see, there's a little keychain thing on here because I actually keep this on my keys. So this is always on me. thing that we're going to want to do is actually go to the Ventoy website. We're going to go to downloads and then here you can download the installer for Windows, Linux, uh, you can have a live CD or we can just go to the GitHub on its own which is where I ended up downloading from which has all the same download links and everything but it's compiled from here so if the website isn't updated this will be the most up-to-date version which both are 1.0.29 so the website does have the newest version so we just download the Linux version as well as the ISO files that you want to actually put on this so I'm gonna be downloading Kali Linux Live 64-bit uh, version so this is if I have to do any sort of penetration testing or anything on the go it's always on my keys ready to go so that's a super useful tool to have so that's gonna be one of the ISOs that going to be using. I'm going to be installing Pop! OS because that's what I'm going to be using on my laptop with the NVIDIA driver and I'm going to be installing Windows 10 Insider Preview for the developer channel which the current build is 2203. So with all three of these downloaded as well as the Ventoy package itself now we can put the USB stick into the computer. In here you can see that we have a 16 gigabyte SanDisk Cruiser Glide 3.0. Um, there's no partition or anything made yet, so I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. We can see here that it's dev SDD, which will come in useful later, but I'll show you also how to check that normally. Okay, so all of these are downloaded so we can get out of here. Okay, so now we have a terminal open as well as the folder, which I have all of the files into. So right here we have Kali Linux, we have Pop! OS, and we have Windows. Right here is the Ventoy tar file that we downloaded, and then right here is a grub theme that I downloaded and I'll have all of this linked below with the uh, links and everything to where to find everything. So I'll show you how to use this in a minute. But the first thing we have to do is extract this file here. So we can change directories to this directory here. So now that we are in this directory, if we uh, type in ls to list everything, then right here you can see that we have all the files. So we have Kali Linux, Pop! OS, Windows, we have the theme that we're going to be using and the Ventoy tar file. So we can extract this tar file. So for that it's going to be tar dash xzbf and then we'll just drag this file right here so we have the tar file and now it's extracted it so now we have this folder right here so we're going to now change the directory again cd and we're going to drag this folder over so that way we can actually get into that folder now in here we can list those again and we can see all these files right here and the one that we need right here is ventoy 2 disk sh and before we do that, we're going to do lsblk, which is going to list all of the actual drives on the computer itself. And now in here we have uh, SD, A, B, and C. Those are my hard drives. SDD right here, which is a uh, 14.5 gigabyte. That's going to be the USB stick that we're going to use. So SDD is the name that we have to remember and then uh, all of these here because if you mess this up then you're going to end up installing this on a hard drive or on an NVMe or SSD or whatever so you got to make sure you have the right one. So now we can type in the command to make this which is going to be sudo sh uh, capital D and ventoy bntoy uh, to capital D isk dot sh space now we can do dash i that's just going to be like your regular install capital i is going to force install um a u is going to be if you already have an existing one you want to update to the newest version so we're going to do i and then if you want to have secure boot enabled for windows uh, you can put dash s but with linux we don't use that so i'm not going to use that and because this is the de uh, developer build of windows i'm also not going to be using secure boot so that's done, now we just select the drive, which is going to be forward slash dev, and then it was SDD as we found right here. So this one right here, SDD. So that's going to be the one that we're using. 
and that's it. Now we can just hit enter, and now it's gonna say that, uh, do you want to install Ventoy on this drive right here? So it's, it's giving you another message here, like you, if you messed it up, you know, you gotta be ready. So yes, SDD is the USB stick, and yes, I'm fine with all data being lost on this. Now it's done, we can do LSBLK again, and you can see SDD now has two partitions. So one of these is gonna be EFI to boot into the, the grub menu here where we select the ISO files, and the other one is going to be the actual partition where we put everything. So now we're done in terminal, we can actually close this. So over here on the left, we have the Vento USB stick, and then over here on the right, we have all of our ISO files, or, or I, ISO, ISO, not ISO. ISO is cameras, ISO is a file, um, which is actually really weird that it's an ISO file. It's just kind of one of those things that doesn't really make sense. The .iso file is an international organizational standardization file, but that's iOS, and ISO is just the standard that they have, which was ISO 9660, which then ended up just becoming the standard of being called ISO in relation to a disk image. So the iOS created ISO 8660, which became the ISO standard, which is after the organization IOS, which was then changed to ISO for the file format. It's it's all very confusing. Basically, it's a disk image, ISO. And then ISO on cameras, that, that really has nothing to do with cameras today. It, it just falls under the same principle because ISO was actually the exposure of film back in like the early mid 70s or whatever. And now ISO essentially just explains the sensitivity gain of your sensor. So it's, uh, they're completely different. Anyway, the ISO files that we have in here, we can take all of these and we can drag them onto the Ventoy. So now those are gonna transfer over. Now, while those are transferring, we can make a new folder and this is going to be called Ventoy, all lowercase. So now in this Ventoy folder, we can create a text document. And now in this text document here, we can just paste what I already have copied from a different text document. So all of this will be um, in the description where to get everything. And we can save this file. And now we're going to save it to the actual Ventoy drive here in the Ventoy folder. So now in all lowercase, this is gonna be called Ventoy.json, J-S-O-N. Save that, and I can see the file is just created here. So we can uh, leave this open for now because we will end up needing this after. And now we're going to create a new folder called themes in all lowercase. And now in this themes folder, we can go back over here to the computer. And this is the theme that I downloaded, uh, the grub theme. And now we can just extract this theme right here. And now the theme is extracted. So we can just copy the file name for this theme. We're gonna go back to the JSON file that we made here. And then right here for the theme that it wants to find, it's gonna go into the directory of Ventoy, which is the first folder that we made, themes, which is the themes folder that we made. And now right here, we have to change this to this folder right here so it knows which folder to open so that's going to be what we just copied and then it's going to open the theme text from there and it's going to know uh, what to do at that point and then as for the resolution we can change the resolution to whatever we want so 1920 by 1080 so that way it pulls up the full resolution of uh, both of my monitors so the laptop and my desktop well the the desktop is 2560 by, by 1080 but it's fine this this works. So we're gonna leave this. Now we're gonna save the JSON file. So now the file's been updated, it's saved. We can close this, we can go back here. We have the updated file that's gonna tell it what to do. We have the theme in the themes folder and now we go back here. These ISO files are just finishing up, 42 seconds remaining and then it'll be done and that's it. There's nothing else to do. So it's, it's literally just dragging files over and you're done. And then for themes, you just put them in the theme folder and then just manually change that JSON file by editing in a text editor. Perfect, everything's good. Now we can take this out and we can go over to the laptop and I'll show you how to actually boot from it and how it works. So now I'm just going to turn the power on and hit escape a bunch of times so that way we can get to the boot menu and then we can just select the USB stick just like any regular USB stick. So right here we have a pop OS install uh, UEFI OS. Uh, this is also pop OS for some reason. Um, and then UEFI SanDisk partition two. So partition one is the actual drive that we were putting all of the files onto and partition two is gonna be the EFI which is gonna boot to allow us to boot those ISO files. 
So now in here, we actually have Kali Linux, Pop OS, and Windows 10 ready to go. So now we can just install these operating systems as they want. So let's just select Pop OS. So now we can go through and we can actually install Pop OS if we want. Uh, we'll just reboot here so we can go back. And normally if you're doing this on a diagnosis level, you would actually set it so the first boot is going to be the USB stick. So you don't have to select this. You could change the boot option in the BIOS itself to the USB stick, which will then just automatically boot to the screen as soon as the computer starts. So that's pretty much it. This is a Ventoy. Um, if you have a larger capacity USB stick, then obviously you can put as many ISO files as you want. For me, these are the three that I'm going to be using. The main one that I always use is Kali with a live environment, um, but just having an install of Pop! OS, uh, which is also a live environment, or the installer of Windows 10, maybe not the developer preview. If I was working on someone else's computer, I would use the regular public release. Uh, so then if for whatever reason I needed to get past a password on their computer, I could use Kali and then export all of their personal files to an external hard drive or something. And then I could wipe the computer and install a fresh copy of Windows. And then I can then just restore their computer back to a factory state using this single USB stick rather than having multiple ones that I have to keep with me. And because I can just keep this on my keychain, it's extremely handy. I always have it on me. So I'm essentially always able to fix any computer, uh, get around any passwords, do any sort of data recovery in Windows itself. So like endless possibilities. I absolutely love this thing. It's Ventoy. I highly suggest you check them out. Even if you just want to make one for fun and just have it on the side, you, you're going to end up finding a use for it. It's a really great tool to have. But that's it for this video. If, uh, if you liked the video, then like it. If you didn't, like it and you knew all this or whatever then you know dislike the video that's cool uh, leave down in the comments uh, some other ISOs or something that I could toss on this or different things that I could try with it or subscribe if you're not already that's super cool that'd be awesome or or you know don't I'm not telling you what to do